Choose your fighter. Undisputed Mew, Ray. Infinity Gauntlet, Mahiru, Thunder. Trap Master, Nagito, Ace. Hero, Tekexo, Sumugi, Slingshot Fuyuhiko, Ruruka, Chaos Mikan, Daiki, Pimp Kazuichi, Lux, Our Boy Izayoi, The Great Gozu Seiko, Wish King Rantaro, Kaki Maki, Ibuki's Grace, Bad Santa Celeste, Sai B Goyu, Squad Jack, Himiko, Felix. Day good people, Tuling, Dave, Year of the Horizon, the United States Aviator. It's time. Oh, it's time. Four. The season five finale. This is it. The true last episode. And the title's on the line. It's always on the line in the singles finale. Twenty... Six competitors. New... For... The third time. Third time. She will be in the championship match this season. Second time. That she will be defending. Can she win? I don't know. But let's introduce everyone. You've already seen them, but we'll do one more run through real quick, real quick, because it's been a long time since we've had district districts. Usually it's been like Dong Rampa 1, Dong Rampa 2, but now we're at district districts, and I've kind of missed it a lot, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Setting this one up felt like nostalgia, and I was like, it shouldn't really be nostalgia. It was just a couple months ago. It's been a couple months, but let's start off in District 1 Mew and Mahiru. District 2 Nagito. One third of the tag team champions could take home all the titles to the rats. And Hero. District 3, Samugi and Ruruka. District 4, Daiki and Lux. District 5, The Great Gozu and Rantaro. District 6, Ibuki and Saibi Goyu. District 7, Rei and Shota, Thunder. District 8, Ace and the man, the legend, Big Tex, Tekexo. District 9, Slingshot Fuyiko, and former Chaos Mikan, but she's still got a little chaos in her, a little chaos. District 10, Kazuichi, and Izzy. District 11, Seiko, and Maki. District 12, Celeste, and Genocide Jack. And in District 13, the winner of the 3000 episode, Himiko. And from the secret episode, put in here, it's Felix from Fire Emblem Three Houses. And that is the lot. So first of all, in the live chat, in the comments, make your picks known. First, second, and third. There's no gold, silver, bronze. Just gold. Championship gold. Muse. Championship gold. Who do you got? I want to know. Tell me. I'm going to tell you too as I go ahead and pull up. The die. Also, while you're doing that, tell me what you think this die is gonna hit for the last time in season five. But let me tell you, first place, I gotta go with our boy Izayoi. Second place, Thunder. It's undisputed, it's going to happen. And lastly, <sighs> lastly, 
We're also not going to waste any time. We're not wasting any time. We're not going to waste any time. As soon as I make my pick, I'm rolling this guy. I'm tossing it in the air. <sighs> Third place. Give me Mew. I think she's going to put up a good fight, but she's going to just fall short. That's my prediction. But it, is it a spoiler? Probably not, because my picking has been fluctuating this season. It's been really good or really terrible. <laughs> or bad. <laughs> or not great. But I made them. Hopefully you've made yours, because I... I'm ready to re-simulate. Exactly. Oh no. One soul time. One final time. One last time. For the last episode in the summer season. Who will come out on top? Who will be the victor? And to who will hold the title strong as I get ready, as I build the energy. I just said I wasn't going to stall. We're re-simulating just one single time. 26 competitors, the title's on the line. Who's walking out? Mew, Undisputed, Mahiru getting Retribution for her terrible season, Nagito for the rat's hero, Samugi, Ruruka, Daiki for the OCs, Lux for the OCs, The Great Gozu, Rantaro, Ibuki, Saibi Goyu for the OCs, Ibuki also getting her title back rather, for the, trying to be the first ever two-time champ technically, uh, Ray for the OCs, Thunder for the OCs, Ace for the OCs, Big Tex for the OCs, Fuihiko for the OCs, Mikan for the OCs, Kazuichi for the OCs, Izioi. I don't know why I just continue to say for the OCs. Fuihiko, Mikan, Kazuichi. Also trying to be a two-time champ. Let's not forget about him. Let's not count our boy out. Izioi, Seiko, Maki, Celeste, Genocide Jack, Himiko, Felix. I'm done stalling. Let's proceed to see. The tributes are standing on their podium. The title is on the line. And for the last time, in season five, the horns dot sound. Can we please sound the horns? Perfect. Felix manages to knock over a very large man onto his back. Kazuichi was riding on his back and ends up getting crushed to death. I feel like I must have drinks Kazuichi because I said, and I quote, don't count this man's out. He is gone. Rantaro scares Ace away from the cornucopia. Saibigo, you bashes in Big Tex's knees, but Big Tex is still determined to compete. He's determined to compete with not a single knee to his name. Mahiru runs away from the cornucopia. Izioi gets a kitchen knife and stabs Mikan. One member of Band-Aid down. True to go. Hiro tries to explain to Monokuma that there's been a mistake and that he isn't supposed to be here. <laughs> this is just a demo. Fuyiko finds a home run bat inside of the cornucopia. Mew and Daiki recognize each other and both put their trust in one another. Ruruka scares Sumugi away from the cornucopia. Celeste runs away from the cornucopia. Maki and Nakito's history with one another is a clouded mystery. Are they great friends or bitter rivals? Don't see you two being great friends, so I think we know the answer. The great Gozu runs away from the cornucopia, as does Seiko. Thunder gathers as much food as he can as Lux accidentally steps on a landmine. Lux, oh no. That is a shame, but at least he's got a gold medal to his name. Himiko refuses to believe any of this is real, Genocide Jack runs away from the cornucopia, and Rei and Ibuki haggle over items, not an insanely bloody bloodbath. But we'll proceed to see what happens on day one. Dubstep missiles. Fly at Genocide Jack, sealing the fate of her team, Ultra Despair Girls, pierce her true and kill her, because they had a terrible season and it continues. Daiki is attacked by a deranged man during a race, giving Hero and Ace the opportunity to pass him. Is he dead? I don't know. Celeste made a funny face and is now a meme on the internet. Ray, Big Tex, Samugi, and Felix play cards. Rantaro gives Ru a Aw, gives Mew a rose. Mew, oh, pricks herself on a thorn and bleeds to death. Rantaro, you just accidentally took out the champ. There will be a new champion. It's been early, early champions being erased from history. Ibuki fishes. Nagito and Izuwe practice tennis with each other. Nagito ends up getting smacked in the face with a tennis ball. Just his luck. Uruka kills Maki with a sickle. Okay, Uruka, you are continuing your season of dominance. Himiko glares at Thunder and says, do you want to die? Thunder says, no. 
Not particularly. Not today. Thanks for asking. Seiko loses both arms and both legs, but it's this just a flesh wound. Mahiro receives a head from an unknown sponsor. The Great Gozu searches for firewood, and Fuyuhiko makes a deal with Saibi Goyu. We only lost six. Twenty remain. Ten more until the saving grace picks, but for right now, it is simply a clear day loon. Four. Kazuichi. Mikan. Lux. Genocide Jack. Undisputed Mew. Kaki. Maki. With the champ gone, we know that we will get a new champion. Will it be Mahiru Nagito, Hiro, Samugi, Ruruka, Daiki, The Great Gozu, Rantaro, Abuki, Saibigoyu, Rei, Thunder, Ace, Big Tex, Fuihiko, Izayoi, Seiko, Celeste, Himiko, or Felix? One of these 20 will come out on top. But 19 more after Paris, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's see what else befalls our competitors as they start the night one. <laughs> the night one, not night one. The night one. Hero and Thunder huddle for warmth. Ruruka attempts to climb a tree but falls on Izioi, killing them both. Well, isn't that sweet? You two going out together. I am both hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt for Izioi. It's not his day to day. Our boy, Izayoi. Seiko lets Mahiru into her shelter. Saibi Goyu loots the mystery box. She finds... Rantaro? <laughs> what were you doing in there, boy? Rei and the Great Gozu smelt Felix's medals. Felix swears revenge. You don't want to make Felix angry. They've made a mistake. Big Tex tries to sink himself to sleep. Himiko falls asleep, leaning onto Nagito's shoulders. Nagito flushes up. Celeste and Ace practice tennis with each other. Celeste ends up getting smacked in the face with a tennis ball. Everyone's playing tennis and getting smacked in the face. Samugi defeats Fuiko in a fight but spares his life. Ibuki stole 40 medals from other Olympians. Ibuki, you already have one gold. The games are over. The medals don't <laughs> signify points anymore. What are you doing, Ibuki? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Daiki attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful as we start day two. Nagito steals from Mahiru while she isn't looking great. Checks her watch. It's high noon. Hiro says to Tex, You don't matter. Worry. Oh no. Daiki bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Rest in peace to Daiki. Ibuki hears a voice is telling her to kill Felix. I don't know if you should try and follow up on those. Himiko feigns death tricking Celeste into ignoring her. Samugi and Thunder run into each other. They are both startled and flee from one another. Saibi Goyu, Seiko, and Rantaro get into a fight. Saibi Goyu triumphantly kills them both. Oh my gosh, killing a former tag team champ and the king of all wishes. But you know what? She is a wish master herself. Ace and Fuyuhiko give the Great Gozu an irresistible smile. Wait, Ace gives Fuyuhiko and the Great Gozu an irresistible smile. Fuyuhiko and the Great Gozu argue over who loves Ace more. Ace does have a very good smile, if I'm being completely honest. We okay. We are, we are not okay because a horde of Monokumas are released into the school. This could be bad. As Sumugi makes it out unscathed, Big Tex is eviscerated and left to die. Saibi Goyu makes it out unscathed. Celeste is eviscerated and left to die. The Great Gozu makes it out unscathed. And so does Rei. Hero and Ace work flawlessly together as a Monokuma destroying team. Felix trips up Thunder and watches him get cut up. Oh. Oh, Felix. Oh, no. Himiko trips up Mahiru, and she will not be getting her retribution this season as she gets cut up by Monokumas all over. As Nagito and Fuiko somehow work together flawlessly as a Monokuma destroying team. You know what? They have worked together in the past. I think, what, Danganronpa 2.5? Is that the name of it? Yes? Yes. You guys can confirm in the live chat. <laughs> yes. Ibuki makes it out unscathed as well. Now, we've lost nine. I think we still have one more until you're saving grace picks, but for right now, we gotta hit that Claire de Lune 4. Ruruka. Izayoi. Daiki. Seiko. Rantaro. Big Tex. Celeste, Thunder, Mahiru. As we see everybody's statuses, we do indeed have 1, 2, 3 on the first row, 4, 5, 6 on the second row, 7, 8, 9 
on that row, and then 1011 on the very final row. This entire row here is completely out. Rest in peace to them. <sighs> One more until the saving grace pick, so as I click proceed, it's going to happen. Are your picks still in? Will you need saving grace picks? I do. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Super duper do. I scooby dooby do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's proceed. As we carry on, we can see at the start of what are we at? Night two? Night two. Night two as Saibigui stays awake all night. Ibuki and Hiro, I'm sorry, Ibuki sees Hiro holding a meeting with Felix, Fuihiko, and Sumugi. What is this meeting about? Probably him trying to pay off some sort of debts. Nagito goes to sleep, Ray and Ace build a base together. Himiko sleeps upside down because she is Batman. The Great Gozu receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor as we proceed. Nobody died. Someone's going to die! <laughs> the feast! The corner cope was with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's family. Zabuki decides, no, thank you. I know what happens here. Saibi Gozu stuffs a bundle of dry clothing into a backpack before sprinting away. Ace steals the Great Gozu's memoirs. Samugi, Rei, and Himiko confront each other, but grab what they need slowly to avoid conflict. Felix decides not to go to the feast, and Fuihiko works with Hiro and Nagito to figure out everyone's motives. Everyone survived the feast! Give them a clap! Give them a rousing golf clap! Oh my gosh! That's incredible! That almost never happens! We'll proceed again! To day three, Himiko and Samuki get drunk and start to vandalize. They never get caught. Of course you would. Ray! Tries to spearfish with a trident, Fuihiko takes his time before partaking in the next event. Ibuki catch catches all the fish. Ace says to Hiro, you matter, don't worry. Oh, the great Gozu rips Nagito's heart out. Oh, yikes. And Saibi Goyu throws a discus into Felix, killing him. Everything was so peaceful, and then right at the end, oh my gosh. We'll proceed, because now we lost two, we lost two. Which means after this, Claire de Lune, four... Nagito, Felix, that it is your final nine, that it is time to readjust your picks. Had your picks been misaligned, well then, it is time for you to make your saving grace picks. Who do you got? First, second, and third again. Why not? The title's on the line, someone here will be your next champ. Will it be Hiro? We also have Samugi, The Great Gozu, Abuki, Saibi Goyu, Rei, Ace, Fuyihiko, and Himiko. In terms of the teams that are here today, nobody has held any title before except for Abuki, correct? Yes. Nobody else has held a title. Yeah, Abuki's the only former title holder here. She has held both of the titles before. She could, she very well could walk out of here the first ever two-time, two-time, Don Rapa 100 Games Champion of Champions. But who you got? First, second, and third. I'm gonna pick my picks real quick. We also have to make note. Boom, boom, boom. Heroes here. Uh, Samugi. What I was going to note earlier, actually, District 3 is just full of Sayaka's former tag team partners. Or current tag team partners, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so I'm going to take Samugi for third. I'm going to take... I'm going to be just completely frank. I'm not... I'm going to not... I'm going to... I usually try and move around my, um, my picks to try and avoid jinxing. But I'm just going to pick up right. I got Samugi for third, I got Himiko for second, and I got Rei for first. I'm rooting for Rei. <sighs> Hopefully that didn't jinx them, because I have a habit of doing that. Hopefully you made yours in the live chat over there, yonder there, around there. You guys know all the way, all the, all the yonders, or in the comments if you're not watching this as it premieres. <sighs> but you've made them. You've called them. I'll probably ask you to call in the final two, unless the final two doesn't happen, because that happens sometimes. Sometimes it just jumps. But, luckily enough, we are at the final nine, which means Hiro, Samugi, the Great Gozu, Ibuki, 
Saibigoyu, Rei, Ace, Fuyihiko, and Himiko are all standing tall. Swords drawn? Step steady. Arms not spaghetti. Heart beating strong. At the same pace. Of a samurai woman. Are you prepared? Because. It's time. The time is now. Let's see who walks away with the title. Let's proceed to night three. Deep breath in, and let's go. Night three, Fuiko severely slices Saibi Goyu with a sword. Rest in peace to her. Ace and Samugi play rock, paper, scissors. Samugi has lost and now has a sad feeling in her chest. Ibuki loots the mystery box and she finds a ray gun. Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Ray enters a pancake eating competition with the Great Gozu. The Great Gozu eats the most pancakes, being titled the Pancake Champ. How quaint. Hiro and Himiko play basketball against each other. Hiro manages to win the game. I don't know why it says manages because I feel like he Hiro should probably have the advantage. We'll proceed to day four. Ace does a super sick backflip. Hiro watches in absolute astonishment. Ray, Fuihiko, and Samugi dance to the invincible Rainbow Arrow. If only Iris was here, she would... She would love it. The guard goes to a stung by a bee. Ibuki loses both arms and both legs. Tis a flesh wound! And Himiko falls into a pit and dies. Rest in peace to Himiko. 3,000, she made it. But she didn't come through today. We'll proceed. It is a Claire Day... I'm sorry, not a Claire Day loon. For Saibi Goyu. And for Himiko. They had their opportunities. They won games. They got here. But unfortunately... It's a terrible, terrible turnabout for Saibi Goyu, Himiko. So let's take a peek. We still have Hiro, Samugi, the Great Gozu, Ibuki, Rei, Ace, and Fuihiko. Everyone else is gone. This is your final seven. Six more, and we have a champion. Hiro, Samugi, the Great Gozu, Ibuki, Rei, Ace? Fuyiko? They're all still going strong. Heart of a Samurai Woman. Are you ready? Because I am ready. We gotta keep things moving. We gotta keep things rolling. <sighs> Are you saving Grace Pixel in? Are they? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go on. Let's proceed. Also, let's take note. Remember, everyone who was in the top 12 automatically makes it back to the season 6 premiere. For the singles title. I don't know exactly who that is, because <laughs> I didn't keep track of that in my mind, but that's something we have to look out for. Let's go ahead, let's proceed, let's see what goes on. At the start of night four is Ray and the Great Gozu track down and kill Ace. His fantastic smile didn't sway the Great Gozu anymore, he killed Ace. Sumugi defeats Fuyuhiko in a fight but spares his life. As her camp starts to burn down, Ibuki casually says, Oh, this is fine. Before succumbing to the flames, Ibuki is out of here. Rest in peace to the girl. And Hiro foreshadows the winner of this game somehow. Apparently he knew. 30% chance. I can't believe it. Hiro predicted the game. Who, who did you predict, Hiro? Tell us. Tell us who you... I don't know who he predicted. Let's go ahead and proceed. At the start of day five, the great goes with Fuyiko, Rei, and Hiro. Hunt for other tributes. As Samugi practices their archery as we proceed, we are at our final five. We lost another two. Two strong souls. Two fantastic competitors. But unfortunately, it was indeed a terrible turnabout for Ace Ibuki. Which means as we say everybody's statuses, we are at your final five. Hiro, Samugi, the great Gozu, Rei, and Fui Hiko, one of them will walk out with a title. Who do you got? I haven't the slightest. I never do. We only really have re-simulated how how many did that was it was it a single time? Well it was just a single time, right? Right? It was just once. Was it just once? It was probably just once. <coughs> Are you prepared? You know what we have to do. We have to keep going. Cause a champion needs to be crowned. Take a deep breath in because Hiro, Samugi, the Great Gozu, Rei, and Fuyihiko are all caught. 
in a crisis of fate. Who will it be? I don't know. Hero carried his team. He absolutely carried his team. And they didn't do it for him, but he might do it for himself. The Great Gozu was our most canon victory. He won the wrestling event. Could he hold the wrestling title? Ray did not win, but she was first or second place. I think yes, first place for your fan votes. Could your most fan voted OC make it and win the title? Samugi, who I technically really still have beef with, because <laughs> when I played V3, ooh boy, ooh, ooh, she reached you, mm, okay, Fuihiko, slingshot baby faced gangster, could it be him? I don't know, let's go ahead, let's proceed, let's stop goofing. Because of the start of Night 5, Samugi passes out from exhaustion, Hero thinks he can win as long as he believes in the heart of the cards. Fuihiko stays awake all night, the great Gozu discovers the mastermind and is killed for it, the death is made to look like an accident, and unfortunately Rei dies of hunger in fourth. But those two have just perished, but we must remember that they will be back for the season 5. 6. <laughs> we are in season 5, the next one is 6, that's counting, that's basic, that's basic of the arithmetic. They will be back for the Season 6 premiere, but we are down to our final three, Samugi, Hiro, and Fuyihiko. It could all end as I click Proceed, will it? No, but Samugi finds a teleporter. It teleports them to the Love Hotel, where Hiro and Fuyihiko are currently, uh... Awkward. Okay. Oh, that is, that is a big... Samugi, what have you... I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're... He's clearly predicting the winner of the game. He predicted it. Fuyihiko's got this in the bag. Easy peasy. Whoop, oh gosh! He did! <laughs> he did! <laughs> Hero tries to convince Monokuma to stop in the name of hope because Monokumas are back! Monokuma, Monokumas, they storm the school. It's been so long since we've seen them, but they're back. Hero tries to convince him to stop in the name of hope. This goes as one would expect, and Hero gets his guts ripped out. Fuihiko trips up Samugi and watches her get cut up. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Hero's 30% chance. He was getting the card readings done for Fuihiko in the Love Hotel the day before. We all knew that he foreshadowed the winner because as I click proceed, we see that after this Claire de Lune, for this terrible turnabout, for the Great Gozu. Ray. Hero. Samugi. It's mind blowing how low key incredibly that worked out. Especially for Hero's psychic abilities. It's true. It's true. Oh my goodness. It's true. As we proceed, we see that. I am introducing your winner, and new, and new, and new, Danganronpa Hunger Games, champion of champions, you put him in, via your fan votes, he earned points for his team, they came out strong, they showed up, they showed off, your new Danganronpa Hunger Games champion of champions, Fuyuhiko. I ain't mad. I'm really not. That's a good champ. I'm actually really fine with that champ. Slingshot Fuyuhiko hit the bullseye. I low-key just have to give the assist to Hero. Oh my gosh. How beautifully that played out. That I was- it's- it's been- it was just so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. We'll proceed. Shocking. Shockingly enough, oh, those two could have had pacifist victories, but if it's we... I need to also look at our top 12. Oh, Shota. Oh, Shota, you were... Oh, Thunder. You're, like, second place in terms of making it to the... into the, the, the next season. Oh, you were so close. All this... Dis oh, poor. I feel for Thunder. Oh my gosh. Fuigo, congratulations to you, though. We can't hinder on the bad. We gotta look at the good. Sumugi in second place. 
Hero in third, Ray's coming back in fourth, The Great Gozu's coming back in fifth, Ibuki's coming back in sixth, Ace is coming back in seventh, Himiko's coming back in eighth, Saibigogi's coming back in ninth, Felix is rounding off your top ten and he's coming back too, Nagito's also coming back in eleventh place, and Mahiru's rounding off your top twelve. She had a terrible season, but she's going to potentially make season six her best season because she's back to try and claim the title. Everyone else here, Thunder 13th, Celeste 14th, Big Tex in 15th, Rentaro 16th, Seiko 17th, Daiki 18th, Azuru 19th, Ruruka 20th, Maki 21st, Mew 22nd, our champ. She was not undisputed, she was not undismuted today. We don't, we don't talk about, I didn't just make a pun, you guys made a pun. Genocide Jack in 23rd, Lux in 24th, Mikan in 25th, and at the bottom of the pack was the ultimate pimp. Kazuichi. That's it. That was it. I'm actually very pleased with how uh, how that last bit worked out. With Hiro Loki predicting that Fuyuhiko would win right at the wire. I love it. I love it so much. We'll proceed. <clears throat> it started with Felix knocking over this insanely large individual. And Kazuichi getting crushed and it all ended with him, his vision might not be the best. One of his eyes might be blind, but he stuck his foot out real good. He stuck it out real good. And you know what he did? He tripped Samugi up, who I think I technically still have beef with, but we'll work it out, Samugi. <laughs> and he is your new Danganronpa Hunger Games champion of champions, and we could not have a better moment for Fuyihiko. Congratulations to him, congratulations to everyone in the top 12, and congratulations to everyone who made it to the finale today. We can proceed, we'll look at the stats. Saibi Goyu with 3 KOs in the top kills. Felix, Fuyihiko, and the Great Gozu all with 2. Himiko, Izuyoi, Rei, and Ruruka all with 1. There's your placements, you know them. There's your district placements. Oh, we can look at district placements again. That's neat. Even though I'm pretty sure it's just, what, ninth, third, and second. So that is, I'm pretty sure, Fuihiko's, Samugi's, and Heroes. As we go back to, not simulate again, go back to the Reaping. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, and ninth. Yes. That's it. That's all she wrote. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a fun one. We are moving on to the next season. I have not decided on the gimmick. I have some in mind, but I don't know what it'll be just yet. But probably next week the OC submissions will open up, so tune in probably Thursday, maybe Friday, to see those open up so you can re-enter your OCs if you are in the... Either, technically, yeah, if you're in either of the season premiere or the season premieres for the singles or tags, that's what I mean, do still enter your OCs. They'll be in regardless, but enter them again because you gotta, you gotta get another chance to see them. <clears throat> but that's that. I'm pleased with this. I'm so happy for Fuyiko, actually. I'm glad that he got a title. He deserved it. He had, he, he deserved it after season, what, two? Where he was just side by side Peko over and over again. That man's deserved it after that, because that was fantastic feats of RNG and I was going nuts over that. So I'm proud that he got a little good a little good RNG on this one too. That's all she wrote. Do I want you guys to leave anything in the comments? It's Next week is September, oh my gosh. So, three weeks of preseason, we'll be right into fall. Leave autumn events, because we're revamping the simulator as we do as the seasons go by. We'll leave, we'll leave some autumn events. Leave autumn events, depending on what I have the gimmick go, you just, if you're in the Discord, you can leave it in the, um, the events uh, suggestions. If you're not, you can just leave them in the comments. That's, um, that's nice, I'm fine with that too. I think that's all she wrote. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done stalling. That was a good length episode, too. Thank you, live chat, for coming for the premiere. Thank you in the comments, or if you're not even commenting, just thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe, because there will be more. There will be another season. There will be sh some teams shaken up. There will be all sorts of fantastic things. What 
awaits beyond the horizon in the year of the horizon, Toon Link, Dave, and me. The United States Aviator, I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Together. Stay classy. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Thanks for watching.